Hey guys, real quick before we get started, these are just my personal experiences using these hair colors and everybody's hair takes color differently. So these are just my opinions. If you have different experiences with these brands, please let me know down below. Hey, what's up guys? It's Bridget. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day and today is going to be the best and worst of hair dyes. Today I'm going to give you my very many years experience dyeing my hair. I've been doing YouTube videos on hair dyeing and doing it myself for the past almost three years now. So today I'm going to show you just my favorite and least favorite dyes, which ones worked, which ones didn't, which ones fade faster, which ones come out not like the box, things like that. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, guys, before we get started, I am not a professional hairdresser at all all like not whatsoever if you've ever been here before i don't know how to do this i'm winging it because i'm cheap and don't want to pay someone else to do it and it makes a good youtube video so i've been dyeing my hair since i was 11 i think something like that early middle school i started dyeing my hair even blonder because i was a very white blonde child and then as i got to a little bit older it started to fade to more like a dirty blonde and i didn't want that so i started dyeing my hair at a very young age and I've always been doing it myself. I've got my hair professionally done once and it came out looking exactly the same as I went in looking with like one or two highlights for a hundred and something dollars. So that never happened again. I've been doing my hair ever since. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I do have a ton of different permanent as well as demi and semi-permanent hair colors to talk about. I realized I just said demi instead of demi-permanent. So that was really weird. But let's go ahead and get started with the first thing, which is Arctic Fox hair color, which is a semi-permanent, cruelty-free, vegan hairline. And um, all of their dyes are good except one. So I'm currently wearing a combination of three different Arctic Fox colors. Most of the hair color I own is Arctic Fox. I probably have about 20 bottles of it. I've used every single one of their colors except the UV activated ones. And I've found that all of them work and fade pretty nicely, except Girls' Night. Girls' Night seemed kind of patchy and didn't really want to stick to the hair very well so all the rest of them i found absolutely fantastic and i love them very much all of them fade pretty evenly they do wash out um but you can get them to last up for like a, maybe a month without having to redo it i redo my hair every two times i wash it just a little bit of a touch up on the roots where the hair color doesn't want to stick to but other than that they're really good quality and i love arctic box Next up, since we're talking about semi-permanent colors, let's talk about Manic Panic, which is one of the most popular ones that's been around forever. Now, both Arctic Fox and Manic Panic are both sold at Sally's now, as well as Hot Topic. So if you're interested in getting either one of those, Manic Panic, I find out, washes out too fast. I've used their reds, their pinks, and I believe they're like their purpley magenta color. And I tried like a peachy one. The peachy one was like a creamsicle color. I don't really think that one counts, but they just washed out really fast on me. I've dyed the underside of my hair all Manic Panic, I've dyed the entirety of my hair Manic Panic, and I just find it doesn't stick very well. It might stick to your hair, it's great if you're not willing to commit to a color, you want to try it for a couple days, maybe a week, and have it out of your hair. It's a great way to do that, I just don't find it holds very long. Next up, another color that's sold at Sally's is Color Brilliance Ion Colors, and I'm specifically talking about the gemstone ones, that's the one I've tried, but the Color Ion Colors are in a really long tube, they're very popular at Sally's, and they come in a ton of different colors, from natural colors to like vibrant colors, bright colors, gemstone metallic looking shades, and I just find that they are the devil, actually. They never want to leave your hair. The color on the box and the tube is completely accurate, to what's inside of it. It looks exactly like that, so you don't have to worry about it, but it never wants to leave your hair. Um, it's one of those things that's supposed to be like a semi-permanent hair color to a demi-permanent hair color, but it's just, it lasts too long and it doesn't want to leave and it does not wash out evenly. It washes out kind of patchy depending on like where you put more shampoo in your hair. It's just not even and it's not a good time trying to remove it because I tried a long time to remove it and yeah, it was not fun. Next up with a permanent hair color, we're talking about Vital Sassoon. And this is sold at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, pretty much everywhere. They come in a very generic looking box. And um, I just found it didn't, I mean, it stuck to the hair. It coated the hair perfectly fine. It just looked a lot more ashy in person than it looked on the box. The box color looks a lot more vibrant than the color you actually get. Um, and I just find that I'm not a big fan of it. It didn't last that long. It faded pretty quickly for being a permanent hair color. It's only a couple dollars cheaper than like other dyes at Walgreens and CVS and all of this. So I definitely did reach for a different drugstore hair color before I'd reach for Vital Sassoon again. 
because it's just not worth it. You're going to re dye pretty quickly afterwards. On the upside of Vital Sassoon, though, the conditioner that came with it and everything like that smelled great, and your hair still felt pretty healthy after dyeing your hair with that. Just didn't stick very long. Okay, so next up, we're talking about another permanent hair color, and this is L'Oreal Farias. L'Oreal Farias have been around for years. It's what I used to bleach my hair white with for years on end, and it's just, it's a good hair color. There's one that didn't work for me. It is the Rebel Chic um, Blonde. That's the Faria that didn't work for me. The Ashier Brown Farias, the Platinum White Farias, all very good, except for Rebel Chic. I found them kind of bleh. Um, I don't really like the Ashier Brown Farias. I feel like you get a different hair color that's not as drying to your hair for that color. But if you're trying to go blonde, the Faria line is a very good. It lifts quite fast and if your hair is already like a decently light color you can have it in for like 10 minutes and wash it out and your hair will be blonde so it's very good quality it is very drying for the hair but if you put in a deep conditioner afterwards you'll be fine so next up is da vinci hair color if you guys have seen my recent video on dyeing my hair the da vinci hair color you know it was not my favorite and then if you watched my hair on my hair on this or like my least favorite products of 2018 You'll know Da Vinci hair colors in there because they're a scam. I'm, I mean, I don't think a scam's a, a tough word. They sent me some hair color to try out and I didn't like it because it was very splotchy and hard to move and it was just came out very patchy. I didn't want to stick to all the hair like it looked terrible and it was not a fun time to try to get out. Um, They sent me an email after I posted the video and said that, oh, I'm sorry, we knew it was patchy. We're trying to reformulate it. People have given us, us reports that it's patchy and inconsistent and splotchy and stuff. So they knew that the hair color is patchy and they're still selling it and they're still sending it out as PR. So that's on them. Their conscience can ride hard saying that they ruin people's hair on purpose. So I'd never support Da Vinci hair color again. I liked the color of it. I thought it was very pretty. It was just really patchy and it didn't fade that nicely. It was really hard to remove when I wanted it out of my hair. So... Don't, don't buy that hair color, please. So next up is Lime Crime. Lime Crime is a company that some people like, some people don't. But that's not about this. Today we're talking about their hair colors because they have hair dyes. There's actually a couple in their clearance section right now after the Christmas time. And Lime Crime hair colors are actually pretty good. They don't fade um, uneven or anything. They fade pretty nicely. They don't last the longest in their hair, but it is a semi-permanent hair color. I find it very pretty. I tried their fuchsias, like strawberry gum, I think it's called very beautiful color. I found it very nice, really easy to work with. You get a big old tub and it's really easy to blend through the hair. It's not too thick. So if you are interested in Lime Crime hair colors or any of their dyes, it's pretty good. Like it doesn't last forever, but it's pretty good. And lastly, we're talking about Swartzkopf hair color, which is the color I recently dyed my hair to dye it rose gold before I put orange in it. And I've also tried a whole bunch of their like purple shades. I've tried their black shades. Swartzkopf hair colors that you can get at Walgreens, Walmart, anywhere are so good for permanent hair colors. They might come out slightly ashy, not as vibrant as they are on the box, but they do last a really long time. They're really easy to remove if you don't like the color too. A color oops will take it directly out and they're just a great hair color. So if you are interested in it, they sell them everywhere. Um, they've all been really good, pretty healthy to the hair. They have this conditioner in the box that smells fantastic. I just wish they were cruelty free. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's any specific hair like dye brand you love the most, let me know down below. Mine's definitely Arctic Fox other than Girls Night. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.